Access 2010 includes a new control that you can use to add web content to a form. The great thing about the web browser control is that you can control which page is displayed based on data stored in your database. I'll show you how you can use address information in your database to create maps on the Bing Maps site. Here I have a table that contains some address information. To make things a little easier, I also created a calculated field that combines the four address fields together. This will make it easier for me to create the URL for the web browser control later. You can also combine fields later when you create the URL. I'll close the table and open a form that I created earlier, which contains the full address field. If I advance through a few records, you can see the full address for each one. Now I'll add the web browser control. I'll switch to layout view and then close the navigation pane to make more room. And then on the design tab in the controls group, I click web browser control. I position the pointer where I want the control and then click. Access opens the insert hyperlink dialog box. This dialog box provides a very flexible way to assemble a URL for the web browser control. On the Bing Maps site, I searched the help for build a URL and learned that I should use the base URL of bing.com slash maps slash default.aspx. So I typed that into the base URL box. Then Bing Help tells me to add a parameter called where1 followed by the address I want to map. Near the bottom of the dialog box, I can see the URL beginning to take shape. There are other parameters I can use as well to control such things as the zoom level or the map type. For the parameter value, I want to use the address that's displayed on the form. I'll use an expression to refer to that text box. I'll click the Build button in the Value column. And then in the Expression Builder, I select the form and then double-click the text box that contains the address. If I hadn't created the full address field in my table, I could also assemble the full address here by concatenating the address parts together. I'll click OK and Access displays the expression in the Insert Hyperlink dialog box. The URL display changes to indicate that an expression will be used as the WHERE1 parameter. Now I can click OK on the Insert Hyperlink dialog box. And in Layout View, you can already see a preview of how the page will look. To make more room for the web browser control, I'll merge cells in the layout. I select the cells I want to combine. And then on the Arrange tab, I click Merge. And I'll size the browser control as large as possible to minimize scrolling. Now I'll switch to Form View and advance through a few records. Since I bound the web browser control to the address text box, it maps that address each time I move to a new record. To modify the control source of the web browser control, I switch back to Layout View. I right-click the control and then click Build Hyperlink. Of course, the web browser control is compatible with the Publish to Access Services feature, so I can feature web content inside my web database.